Hard Knocks Games. Today we have a painting video for you guys. I'm really excited about it. We are going to be getting back into the Mediocre Painting with Wayne series really soon, but last week we decided to take a break and just try something a little bit different. While I was browsing the grocery store toy section, I actually found this bucket of mythical creatures. Um, it's really cool. You've got unicorns, you've got fairies, you've got dragons. I love watching other people here on YouTube take toys that they find either in the dollar store or in thrift stores and turn them into something that they can actually use on their game tables. So that's what Wayne and I set out to do. We took four different horses and we decided to turn them into elemental creatures. But we did run into a few hiccups right out of the gate. No horse pun intended. The plastic that these are made of did not want to bond with the first couple of primers that I tried out, but coating them with a clear matte finish before using a spray primer did make a difference. I'm sorry to say that I'll have to strip the primer off of most of these and start again, but I'm pretty sure they'll be salvageable with the help of some simple green and a lot of patience. One of the things I'm really working on doing right now is using light washes instead of thick coats of paint to avoid losing as much detail. These figures were surprisingly well sculpted and very detailed considering the fact that they're not meant to be painted, but that detail disappears really quickly when you have to use multiple coats of sealers and primers to keep the paint on the model. So compared to the WizKids minis and the Reaper Bones and Citadel miniatures, I would say that you definitely get what you pay for here. But if you're looking to build up your collection of mythical creatures, keep an eye out for this set. The second road bump we came across was attempting to use Crackle Medium on our Lava Horse. Wayne actually had to start over from scratch on this one, so if you're using a Crackle Medium to get that cracked Burning Earth effect, read the instructions on the bottle. Generally, you want to apply a flat coat of acrylic paint and let that dry, and then apply the crackle medium and let that dry, and then apply your final coat of paint, but don't take my word for it since different brands have different instructions. Some of the other effects paints we used were the Citadel Art Coat to give the Water Horse's glossy effect, and the Citadel Valhalla Blizzard to add the ice chunks at his feet. I also used the Art Coat to secure the star confetti and glitter to the Rainbow Unicorn, and in retrospect, it looks super tacky, and I probably should have gone a different direction, but we were just doing this for fun and now I know not to do that again. The Grass Unicorn is definitely my favorite out of the set, and I will admit I put the most work into that one. I added the flowers and grass flocking to the base hooves and mane with a combination of Citadel Art Coat and Super Glue, and then I set everything in place with a coat of gloss varnish and then a coat of matte varnish to keep everything from looking too shiny. I'd really love to take one of every model from the set and turn them to kind of a topiary bush with the same effect, but I don't know when I'm ever going to get around to that. I think Wayne was a little bit reluctant to sit down and paint a bunch of kids' toys, but he did a really good job on his unicorn, and I think we really bonded over the learning experience. Anyway, if you're looking for a place where you can find tons of paints, tools, and modeling supplies, be sure to check out our website, hardmaxgames.com, and we'd love to hear your thoughts on flipping kids' toys into tabletop gaming pieces. Do you like doing it? Do you hate doing it? Let us know. As always, we appreciate you watching, and we hope to see you next time here on Hard Knocks Games.